Uh, before we actually get to the context macro, we need to understand what is a macro. There are three levels where you can specify the user macros inside a Zabbix frontend. And they are working in the upstream. So first of all, there is a host, then there is template, then global. User macro looks like this macro. And you can assign a value, let's say 10. And macro is 20. Again, macro is 30. Uh, how can we tell that it is a user macro? Curly brackets and a dollar sign in the front. If there would be a hash, then it would be a low-level discovery macro. But for user macro, we need a dollar. And see, these macro names are exactly the same in three levels. The host, if you would go to the configuration hosts, uh, windows hosts, macros, this tab, same in the template, configuration templates, click any template, the macros field, and a global level, administration, general, and macros is again a macro and a value. If the macro name is exactly the same on all three levels, then first of all, the most important is a host, then there's a template, then a global. So in this case, a value 10 would be taken into account. If we would not have this value 20, because well, first of all, it goes to the host and template, then global. Uh, where can we use these in in trigger expressions? Let's say we have a host something uh, item dot key dot last trigger function higher than our normal would be to specify higher than some value, but we might hide it in a user macro and specify this value in one of these levels. And it would apply on absolutely all upstream uh, hosts and, and triggers. Same applies, let's say, to SSH items. Configuration, context macro, Windows host items, whatever. Create a new item, type SSH, where is SSH, there we go. There is a username and a password. Maybe you don't want to display it so just create a new let's let's do it right now administration general macros make this a username uh, let's say root and password query update then go back to your items and each time you would be creating any item that would use these values then instead of the username just specify uh, user and password that's it and the values from the global level would take place here so now you know at least the basics about the user macros the next thing is context macro and context macro is used only in the low level discovery so these things, discovery, discovery. I'm not talking about uh, network discovery, this one. This is the low level discovery. And in my case, uh, I specifically installed an agent on my Windows machine, not the virtual machine, but on my actual PC uh, to deploy an agent and actually monitor some data. And these are the default low level discovery things. File system discovery, network interface discovery, and Windows service discovery. What else can be used as LLD, low-level discovery, from the box? So we had a file system. Then there is additionally network interfaces. Then there are uh, Windows services, databases, and SNMP stuff. What is low-level discovery on our simplest case? Let's say the mounted file system discovery. Uh, we want to monitor hard drives. On my computer, I have a C and D disk. 
And uh, well, in, in the companies and in, in the big offices, a lot of computers, a lot of servers, obviously, you don't expect that somebody will run through the computers and tell you that, hey, this machine has ABC, this machine has just C disk, and you would manually add new items. Nobody does that. Instead, we have a low level discovery, which has this key file system discovery and let's check what the output is returned by this key I'll run a zabbix get minus s uh, against my windows machine minus key file system discovery you see I get a JSON data file system name C file system type drive type and another file system name D. So this discovery discovers the actual file systems, the actual disks on the machine against which you run it. And based on discovered results, it automatically creates an items and the triggers based on the item prototypes and trigger prototypes. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so we have an items for a free disk space, free disk space percentage, total and used. And at the same time, we have a trigger prototype. One single trigger prototype that will be created for each discovered file system disk on the Windows machine. And the trigger will be as soon as the last received value for the percentage free will be less than 20 will be reached, it will be a problem. And it will notify you about uh, the problem, the actual problem happening. And we can see this in the result. My Windows host, this is my machine, items, uh, these orange ones are automatically created by low level discovery. And there we go, my two disks, C, uh, free disk space on C, free disk space C percentage, and same for the D. What about the triggers? Triggers again the orange ones are created by LLD free disk space is less than 20% on vol volume C and same for the D But here comes the problem Obviously the most important disk on a Windows machines will be C and uh, Usually you don't care so much about any other disk drives like D or whatever else and uh, most likely probably you would want to set a trigger thresholds that would specify that if the free disk space is less than 20 on the C, then it's a problem. But if it's not a C drive, I want the threshold to be 50%. Or, sorry, it's uh, vice versa. So let's say 5%. So I would want it to make if it's C, then trigger value 20% if any any else disk then trigger value 5% normally it is not possible you see in, in the low level discovery rule the expression is pretty simple the host item key in the parameter where you need to specify, specify the file system name there is a low level discovery macros and all the values discovered by the low level discovery rule c and d will create a separate triggers here we'll c and d but the threshold remains untouched it is always 20 percent so this is the place when the user context macro support kicks in i've already created a example uh, same duplicate host, my same Windows machine. Uh, we can see those discovered items C and D again by the LLD. But let's take a look how I configured a triggers on this low level discovery rule. Mounted file system discovery. I have the same prototypes just like before, but the trigger prototype. Look. It's absolutely different than it was before. Let me delete this. Let's make this bigger. This part, the user macro part and the actual file system name. Now let's keep this in mind and let's check. I've added also a two user macros in my context macro host. Context macros macros tab I have a low space 
user macro and this with a value 20 and I have a low space in the quotes the C disk with a value 60 and this means that these user macroses will be used and evaluated each times when discovery rule will be running so mounted file system discovery is running VFS file system discovery just like we did right here and the first received file system name is C and the trigger threshold this one low space file system name it will look like low space and C will check do we have a user macro low space C yes we do have such user macro and a value the trigger threshold will be 60 next one another discover disk D do we have a user macro low space in the quotes the disk D no we don't so the default value of 20 will be used then how it looks like in the actually created triggers unfortunately they don't reveal uh, the actual value in the configuration part you will see the expression of the trigger exactly as uh, in the item prototypes basically the context macro item dot last and lower than low space c and low space d and i've also changed the name because the thresholds will be different for disk drive C and disk drive D so the only way how you can check that this actually works is actually making trigger fire and that's why I specified the macro value 60 because my C drive is less than 60% free and right now I have a problem free disk space is less than 60% on the volume C why 60% because I already mentioned it we have a discovery rule with a context macro support and the trigger prototype low space file system name and for the C drive I have a user macro low space C 60 and when the value will be less than 60 then it will be a problem let's check the latest data context macro free disk space on C percentage it's 59 that's why it is a problem but the free disk space on D is 89 and it will be a problem only when it will be lower than 20 this again might be might be quite mind-blowing but I really hope that you understood uh, to understand it better I would really suggest just to experiment uh, create some dummy hosts uh, perhaps on your computers or, or just create some virtual machines and uh, play with this because be careful uh, remember the upstream usage of user macroses host template and global don't mess with the place where you actually specify these uh, macro values because in my example I have it inside a context macro host which means that it would work only on this host if I would add those values in this template template operating system windows context demo uh, here then those values would work on all the hosts to which this template would be attached if I would add these values to the global level they would work absolutely to all of the hosts if only they would not be overwritten by the same user macro names in the template level or in the host uh, level also be careful with with the syntax it is always uppercase uh, not here context macro macros it is always uppercase there is always a dollar sign in the beginning curly brackets and here when we're actually specifying the context support there should be a quotes and uh, I've made this mistake in the beginning I didn't add this so it did not work in Windows the Zabbix always discovers 
as it is with two dots. Okay, so thank you. Comments, like, subscribe, whatever else is usually. Thank you, you are the best, and uh, see you later. Goodbye.